Welcome to Crimson Tide Connection, where we visit your favorite coaches and players. And today I'm joined by the new assistant coach for the Alabama men's tennis team, Riley D. Hart. Riley, welcome to Tuscaloosa. Thank you. Thanks how's, for it, me. how's it been here so far? It's been really good. Uh, I spent about a week here total. So, uh, so far I love it though. Yeah, I really like it. Let's talk about what made you come here to Tuscaloosa. Uh, well, number one, I think uh, George called me up and said, uh, we've got an opportunity. and. Uh, seemed like a great opportunity at the time and um, I heard a lot about Alabama athletics obviously with all the national titles that you guys have won and the football program being so awesome and um, I just felt like it was a great place to build a tennis program so I jumped on board. Excellent. Now are you a big football fan? Uh, I'm not a huge football fan. Uh, when I was at Illinois, I went to school at Illinois, they did not have the greatest football record but uh, I'm looking forward to getting Jumping on the bandwagon. Right. <laughs> I think we get you in Bryant Denny Stadium on a Saturday. I think yeah, maybe you'll I can't convert. Wait for that first game. Yeah. yeah. And, and when you came here to Tuscaloosa to Alabama, were there were there any anything that you said had to be here for you to come here to Alabama? Um, I think you're maybe getting at the Chipotle. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think yeah. so. Uh, well, okay. So I played Nadal at the 2008 U.S. Open. That was kind of the biggest match of my career, and. I had shoulder surgery right after that and I was kind of figuring out what I wanted to do with my life. Um, I was going to try to get back out on tour, but I had my arm in a sling. I um, was eating at Chipotle every day, so I went in and applied for a job and uh, somehow they hired me. I got the job and I managed to roll burritos with one hand, so that's my claim to fame. That's, that's pretty good uh, <laughs> yeah. technique so, to have, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, what, what did they think of you playing the doll and then here you are in there working in Chipotle? That's I actually didn't tell anyone about it. Um, you know, I just kind of was under the radar and, and kind of trying to get healthy in Champaign um, back in Illinois. And, um, you know, I think later on they found out that I was a tennis player. Some of the guys on the team came in and gave me a hard time and stuff. But I was like, hey, man, I'm earning an honest living in here. Yeah. Cleaning toilets, I'm, I'll get down and dirty, whatever it takes. So that's what I'm going to do here. <laughs> sound like you have a great work ethic. Work it. Yeah, yeah, I try to, yeah. For just, the most part. just talk about your time on the tour. I mean, what does it mean for you to be able to have, I mean, you have five years experience on, on, on the tour, yeah. to be able to bring that here to Tuscaloosa and, and, and help these guys? Yeah, I mean, obviously that helps a lot. Um, the time that I spent, I mean, tennis has been great to me. Um, the tour is an absolute grind. It's, mm -hmm. you know, not as glorified and uh, beautiful life as people think, but, um, you know, it makes you tougher, it builds character. And uh, fortunately, I've had those experiences to draw on to work with the guys. And there's a lot of guys on our team, and we're going to be recruiting a lot of guys that are going to want to play professionally after college. So um, that's really great that I can draw on those experiences and hopefully help them to get to that level as well. So. And, and speaking of your experience, uh, you were the number one ranked player in the nation as a junior and senior in college. So mm -hmm. you know a little something about what it takes to be a great college player. Yeah, it does. Um, I would say work. Yeah. <laughs> That's the number one thing. I mean, every, like George said, everybody uh, has talent. You know, you have to tap that talent, and ultimately it comes down to how bad you want it, how hard you're going to work for it. So that's what that's kind of what we want to establish here in Alabama. So. Excellent. Yeah. And most recently, you're still playing professionally a little bit. Uh, mm -hmm. You played on the on the Open with, with your wife in the mixed doubles. Yeah. Just talk about how excited was that to be able to play with her. And yeah, on that, stage. that was it. Was awesome. Um, I told George it was one of for some reason I was one of my like most pumped up matches I've ever played. <laughs> I was really nervous. I felt like I was I haven't played for a while, so I think that was part of it. You know, mm -hmm. having that nervous energy, but also playing with my wife Megan. We've never played doubles together before, so it was our first tournament together, and we played well. And we haven't got divorced yet, so that was yeah. I think that was really good. Successful, Successful tournament. tournament. Yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> Well, thank you, Riley. Congratulations. Yeah, for having me. Yeah, Welcome here to Tuscaloosa, you. and we hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Appreciate it. And for Coach D. Hart, I'm Chris Fringa, and that's it for this edition of Crimson Tide Connection. <laughs>